Hello, and welcome to my initial attempts to recover the Falcon 9 first stage in Realism Overhaul. This was live streamed on June 28th as part of my regularly scheduled stream, which happened to be only hours after the failure of the Falcon 9 CRS 7 launch, which you'll hear me refer to at the start of this video. I had planned to do the recovery attempts at the start of the stream regardless of whether SpaceX managed a su successful recovery on their barge. The unexpected tragic loss of the rocket gave me some pause, but I decided to go ahead with the attempts anyway. So now on to my commentary from June 28th. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome, and I guess we're gonna try this, cause, well, I can't think of uh, a more appropriate way to uh, continue after after what happened this morning. So I guess, uh, does everybody know what happened with the Falcon 9 launch? Of course, uh, unfortunately, disintegrated at around 43 kilometers altitude, it looked like, uh, before first stage shut down. Obviously, no landing. Uh, and uh, again, the big problem is that the space station does, did not receive its supplies yet again. And uh, I was worried before, and I am uh, continuing to be worried about the space station supply situation. But, uh, you know, we, we had the loss of the Antares rocket uh, with uh, the Cygnus spacecraft that was supposed to carry supplies. Then we had the loss of the Progress spacecraft because it tumbled out and controlled. In that case, the rest of the rocket worked. It was just the last stage. And then, uh, of course, uh, the Proton thing was separate. That wasn't uh, to do with the International Space Station. Uh, but uh, that, there was that disaster with the Proton launch. And now this, so uh, things have been going rather dismally for the whole space thing, and uh, well, lots of room for improvements, let's just say. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to try in uh, Real Solar System and Realism Overhaul to uh, bring First Stage back, just to make myself feel better, I guess. The thing is, the thing I'm worried about is that uh, for some reason. Uh, when they built this uh, SpaceX Falcon 9 replica, they didn't add RCS to it. And we know it has RCS. We saw the RCS uh, push push it around on the landing attempt, the previous landing attempt. Uh, we know it has RCS ports up here somewhere, but they didn't add those to the model. So I've had to add them and also add the RCS tanks. Um, but that's got me worried. Okay. So, uh, yeah, worried about the RCS situation, especially since it looks like for Realism Overhaul, they've set the RCS uh, to, well, well, some of the RCS, some of the RCS has, oh, these, these have a higher temperature, these have lower temperature, these have 1,073, these have 1,700, so, okay, so I picked the right ones, at least. The tanks, though, have the low temperature, this, uh, this uh, conformable... RCS tank has 1073 as the max temp. So, yep, uh, a little bit worried about that. We'll see how that goes. Now, I think I need to action group the engines. I saw Scott Manley talk about this earlier. Uh, he had a little periscope thing about the disaster, and he said two of the engines actually get shut down on the way up so I need to toggle those and I think all I need is one on the way down so let me have the other six toggle on action group nine alright so then we'll just have the center engine after that hopefully that will work out right now uh, first thing I need to check is how much fuel we can leave behind in the first stage and still get the top of it to orbit so while people are coming in, I'm going to test that out right now. So this is 1.0.2. Uh, so it's a newest version, well, newest version of Realism Overhaul altogether. But I assume Realism Overhaul might work with 1.0.4 now that most of the mods have been updated. Now I tried uh, getting KOS to work with the Falcon 9. Uh, it didn't. It didn't like the gimbling, so that's going to be a problem. Oh, let's get some music on now. Now that I've explained what we've got going here. So here we are. 
throttle up. And we gotta try and make this work. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna launch a rocket. Um, this time I'm not gonna bring the first stage back down. I'm not using FMRS because it's gonna crash the game. We've got too many mods, uh, it'll, it's, it doesn't have enough RAM space to go back to it. So all I'm going to see is how much fuel we have to reserve in order to still get the capsule up. It's got a load of 4 tons inside of it. The total capsule is I think about 8.5 to 9 tons right now. So that's our payload to orbit. Okay, so here we go. Whoa, 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 okay. That's loud. Hey, Mitko. I'm gonna have to turn that down myself. Hold on. I'll let me fix the sound balance now that I know how loud it is. Uh, no, it's it's going fine. Actually, um, <laughs> uh, it's uh, important to note that the Falcon 9 doesn't have a high thrust to weight ratio at uh, at sea level. This is its stats, by the way. Right now, the thing is, it's got a lot of lag. Oops, sorry, wrong way. I like that they've added back the minus and plus buttons on Smart ASS. That's nice. I mean, I've got the spacecraft volume pretty far down already, as you can see. Let, let's see how this works out. Okay, that's not as bad. So I'll have to see how the RCS ports and RCS tanks go, but I'm worried that they're going to explode anyway. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, sea level thrust weight ratio on Falcon 9 is not very high. We are just testing how much fuel I can uh, leave in the first stage while still getting the Dragon capsule to orbit. We're gonna go with a fairly steep ascent to avoid building up horizontal velocity because the horizontal velocity is what we're going to have to kill in order to bring it back. We're bringing it back to Cape Canaveral. So that's a huge consideration. Uh-oh. We've got the launch clamp bug. Oh, great. The launch clamps. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. They're still trying to gain altitude anyway. There they go again. As long as it doesn't hit the vehicle, I guess I'm alright. It seemed like the ascent for the Falcon 9 was pretty steep. It was already at 43 kilometers and it still had a ways to go in its first stage. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 1,500 meters per second I want to reserve there, let's say. Uh, maybe a little bit more. I haven't got enough horizontal velocity yet. Um, okay, 1,400. I'll say 1,400. Okay, let's go with this. Uh-oh. That didn't sound good. Uh, what got destroyed? Oh, RCS tank burned up from overheating. Well, I sort of expected that. Okay, so I'm just checking whether this can get to orbit, and then if it can, then I know I can reserve 1,400 Delta V for our recovery attempts. 
Okay, I have to watch out for this, because the acceleration on this tends to be very high right at the end. So, that's a trick. The second stage is really the key to all this. It has a very lightweight tank, and that's part of the pro uh, might have been part of the problem on this on the launch that we saw this morning. Uh, this is way lighter than anything else uh, that's comparable. And that's what allows the first stage to return, the fact that the second stage is so light and has so much delta V. So yeah, max thrust weight ratio 6.22 for this. We're going down now, but uh, we're, gonna, we're, we're picking up velocity very quickly here. So it should be alright. We're very close to uh, the line here. I'm trying to make a very minimal orbit, and we've barely got enough delta V here to make orbit right now. That's why I'm letting it go down. As long as it stays above 130, we should be okay. Okay, here we go. This is the fun part. I'm just gonna let it burn out. I don't think we have too much margin. Ah, just shy, just shy. Okay, well, so we can't reserve 1,400 meters per second. I guess we'll have to reserve something like 1,300. Uh, I'll go with that. Uh, let's go back to the VAB. Atmosphere height in RO is 130 kilometers. 130. Okay, so just a review. Uh, we saw that these RCS tanks exploded. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we'll try a first recovery attempt right now. Uh, did they perhaps explode because the engine the payload blasts them? Maybe. We'll see, we're not going to ignite that engine this time. This time we're going to dump the payload and follow the first stage. So we are at Cape Canaveral. Just uh, just a recap. We're, we're here. And we're trying this as for real as I can manage it. This is a Realism Overhaul modified LazTech SpaceX Falcon 9. And I verified the numbers. I actually reduced the ISP on the first stage because it was actually a little bit high. It was set at 320 instead of 311. But here we go. I'm not using FMRS because it'll crash the game. Let's try a different piece. Okay, that's a little bit too calm. Okay, let's try that one. Okay, this this is gonna be loud again, I'm sure. Let me get some distance, and here we go. So again, you can see the maximum acceleration. This thing doesn't have a huge TWR on the launch pad here. Oh, I forgot to shut down the engines that time. Two of the engines are supposed to go out uh, partway through the launch, at least according to Scott Manley. Yeah, uh, they were trying to land it on a barge. We are not trying to land it on a barge. We are trying to land it back at Cape Canaveral, which is their eventual goal. Their eventual goal is to try and bring it back to Cape Canaveral. I'm trying to see if that's a reasonable thing to try. Besides, I can't build a barge. I'm not very good at building things on the water in the Kerbal Space Program. That has not turned out very well. Okay, I said 1,300 and then the capsule should be fine to, and the second stage should be fine to get it up. So that's what I'm going with here. Gotta shut down at 1,300. Okay. Set and switch to... well, no, they just explode.
maybe I should ignite that engine now that it seems like that thing exploded anyway. Okay, go away. So it wasn't the engine of the second stage, it was just the heating uh, that uh, got that RCS tank. Okay, so now here we go. Curious how it happened that staging both times? Um, it's just a heat. Uh, we finally reached uh, heat uh, tolerances. So we're about to do the boost back and for that I really need uh, help from Mechjeb just to help us target the place. Okay, so I should get SAS on as well. Well, I'll let it finish rotating first. Show landing predictions. I need to see the landing prediction to get us anywhere near to KSC. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I waited longer and it still uh, exploded when I staged. It's a bit strange. It's nowhere near the decoupler, really. The decoupler has its explosion, if you will, at the top there. So it shouldn't have affected something down below. We'll check in the VAB, I suppose. Okay, actually, you know what? Uh, let me let me quick save. We might want to try this again. Uh, the Verners don't. Well, they might. We'll we'll check in the VAB. Uh, I, I, I don't know what their uh, temperature tolerance is. Uh, these, these seem to have 1700, so I guess they were a good bet. Okay, it's not rotating enough. I need to get there before we pass... Well, uh, when we pass up, get to Applapsis, so I'm gonna activate the RCS now. As you can see, it's not very strong. It is burning. Let's not have stage only. Okay, and I should shut down some of the engines. Uh, in fact, all but the one will be fine. Okay, let's go. It's gimbling should handle the rest. Okay, so now we're back burning. And we're trying to kill all our horizontal velocity. And we want to see 80 degrees. 36 minutes west. Uh, at, le at least. Actually, we should go more than that because of drag. I don't think I'm going quickly enough here. I'm gonna turn on the rest of the engines. There wasn't any, any corporate sabotage or anything like that, just leave me. I'll tell you what I think in a sec once the engine isn't blurring my ear. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, retrograde, please. Come on, spin. Spin, maybe spin. This is the tough part. Trying to get it back to retrograde after it does this. Uh oh. Oh, that's the other RCS tank. Go figure. Yeah, uh, the thing is, with all the space, uh, SpaceX launches I've seen, um, when they abort, and it's not because of weather, it's often because of the helium tanks in the upper stage. If you guys have seen enough SpaceX launches, you've grown to hate the helium tanks in the upper stage because you stayed up trying to watch the launch and uh, it turns out that the helium tanks uh, have some issue. And I still think that's a problem. Uh, I And the helium tanks are used to pressurize the liquid oxygen tanks. A tank. And so if you're gonna say that we had a pressure issue in the liquid oxygen tank, I, I, I also suspect, uh oh, the helium tanks. I don't know. Uh, I, I set a high percentage on it, but it's not like I know a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, heck, uh, all we know is it's been an issue before. They've had, they've had obvious issues with it, so, you know, 
they're suspect, but we don't know until they tell us. We know that uh, Elon Musk tweeted that there was something wrong with those that liquid oxygen tank, so... That's something to go on. Now, what did explode just now? Oh, the grid fins. Wonderful. I guess that's why they're non-RO, huh? Okay, so we've lost our grid fins. Good luck trying to control this now. Bright side? Oh, what now? Ah, the RCS thruster blocks. So 1700 degrees wasn't good enough, huh? Okay, uh, guys, start thinking about how we can control this without our, uh, well, what, well, I guess we could use the air brakes. The stock air brakes, I mean. But I don't know if they're gonna last any better than the grid fins. Um, I think we just lost all the engines. Engines. Not too far off, though, I've gotta say. But, uh, let's try... I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay, uh... Back, back, back to the VAB. So, Verners. They have... Okay, here's the thing. These RCS blocks have 1700 degrees. The Verners have less. I can try it. Couldn't hurt. Oh, it gets buried in here. I don't like that. Let's uh, offset a little bit. Let me make sure it's configured right. Okay, hydrazine. Okay, but we don't have RCS tanks that survive. I don't know. Is there anything I can do to put it on here? It doesn't look like it. Maybe I can sneak it into the first stage. Hold on. We've got... Let me just uh, remove all tanks. Okay, electric charge is sort of separate, I guess. And show UI. Let's say Hydrazine... Where are you, Hydrazine? Too many fuels. Oh, it's not a... Oh, darn. It's not a service module tank. I can't add Hydrazine to it. Okay, grid fins. Uh, can I make a slower descent by having the engines run slowly? Running slowly? We have a limited amount of delta V and a lot of it is pushing back towards the cape. We'll see. Uh, I, I, I thought of that, but uh, uh, any other solution would be preferable because the more uh, fuel I use to uh, try and slow it down, the less I have for actually touching down. So I'll try the, the stock air brakes. Oh, they've put the max temperature of 1073 here too. They're not giving me any uh, any love here, realism overhaul. Don't cover up the flag. Uh, shall we supersize these? I feel like I should supersize these. Uh, not that big. Okay, any suggestions, guys? Um, I know you don't know what parts I have. Uh, we don't have too many, as I said. I snuck in some of the Apollo parts, though. Probably should have left those go. Um, we need still need a RCS tank somehow. I don't know. The attachment nodes on this are weird. Oh, that was weird, too. Can we attach them on the inside of the inner stage? Uh, but, but we need to, well, we'll disable them on the way up, but we need to enable them on the way down. Yeah, I guess we'll action group them as well. Um, so... No, it only attaches on the outside. I can't uh, get them on the inside. Wait. No? Do you think this will work? 
No, no, not that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, action group the brakes. Oh, I have to make sure the fuel is loaded in those RCS tanks properly. Okay, uh, there we go. Hydrazine. Lots and lots of hydrazine. Please don't burn off this time. Um, I don't know. Toggle just means extend or retract. Doesn't seem like I can change whether they control pitch and yaw. Also annoying is the fact that the Grinfins can actually control roll. So I'm uh, losing the ability to control roll here. Not using the grid fins. Do you suppose if I use tweak skill on the uh, grid fins, uh, their heat tolerance will go up? We'll try this first, but uh, maybe uh, next thing I should try is to scale up the grid fins. Or was that something that's been fixed with tweak scale? It might have been fixed with tweak scale. Now that they've added uh, re entry heating. Can I not just put some radiator panels? <laughs> this is getting less and less like uh, Falcon 9, but uh, where should I put them? Oh no, no, I can't. Uh, no, this is 1.0.2. I don't have the radiator panels. Don't have the radiator panels. Unless they've uh, added some to Realism Overhaul and I don't what, know what the parts look like. Okay, uh, let's try this configuration right now. There's a lot of question marks I have, like with the RCS ports, whether the RCS tanks are going to burn off and all that. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. Throttle up, SAS on. I like you. No, not just stock. Obviously not. We've got Falcon 9, we've got Realism Overhaul, Deadly Reentry, Firm Aerospace, uh, the whole Realism Overhaul thing. Uh, we will be going back to stock later after I decide that I've made a mess of this enough. Maybe disable pitch and yaw on the launch pad and then enable it later on. I guess that's a plan. As long as they've got symmetry on. Yeah, it looks like they've got symmetry. Let's see if any control systems survive this time. Yep. Don't think the launch pad can either... Oh, very funny, Mikey. Okay, here we go. Helium thrusters? No, the helium is uh, applied to the pressurization system, isn't it, Donnie? Or maybe you know more than I do. It's not helium thrusters, you think of hydrazine thrusters. Hydrazine thrusters. Helium is used to settle the tanks. I'm really hating the launch clamp thing. Yeah, it's rare that you have a guy who you can describe as down-to-earth and has these great dreams and aspirations. And that's... uh-oh. It's on the inside! It's on the inside now! Why did it burn up from overheating? And just that one again. Oh, wait a minute. I spoke too soon. Now it's two, because we actually have four instead of two. Nice- oh, wait. Okay, we're losing the RCS tanks. I will want some suggestions about what to do about this. This is what it really looks like here. Okay, uh, well, let's have this engine boost. Uh oh, I think I just fried the other RCS tank. Okay, back to this again. I guess we should activate these now. Gonna try and turn towards retrograde. I think I'm just gonna have to let it flip over on its own. First stage thruster is not hydrazine? What is it then? 
Saw on Reddit today, Reddit today that this version of the second stage was only supposed to fly today and two more times. Huh. Well, I'll have to look into that. I didn't know that. Well, there's a lot of valuable cargo. Nitrogen? They use nitrogen on it? Wow, that's interesting. Well, uh, I don't think uh, nitrogen is going to save the RCS tanks from blow blowing up, though. Um, so, uh, hey Chris, by the way. Uh, my hydrazine tanks have been, uh, and I've been using hydrazine. I'll change it to nitrogen once we get back. But I tried to put them inside, I tried to put them outside. Uh, this uh, model of the Falcon 9 uh, from Laztec, as modified by Realism Overhaul, doesn't have RCS. So, it has this RCS uh, port control, but it doesn't seem to have actual RCS, as far as I can tell. I've tried to put mine on, but uh, that hasn't been working out very well. Game got shut off. I should have shut off two, two engines, but let me do that now. Uh, that's this. Well, I don't have any way to flip it over. It's just gonna have to do that on its own unless uh, the air brakes can catch a tiny bit of particulate matter this high in the atmosphere. We have a lot of delta V, but we've got a lot of velocity to kill. Okay, well this has already failed. I can't flip it around. We're going back down. We're too late now. Uh, let me try the other version with the grid fins and uh, even though we had other problems, I want to try bringing it down again since we're at this point. I'll load up that quick save. Please don't crash game, please don't crash game, please don't crash game. That, that's, a, that's as much uh, hoping, <laughs> knock on wood. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, here we go. Shut down the... Oh, uh, did I knock? Oh, yeah, there we go. Well, here we have one hydrazine tank left. And I, like I said, I'll, I'll change it to nitrogen once I get a chance. Yeah, I, I do the please don't crash chant. That's as close to knocking a wood as I get. Okay, I think I need the uh, thruster to push me a little bit. Doesn't seem to do much. I can't imagine what nitrogen would do if this doesn't do anything. Okay, I'm just gonna have to use engine gimbling to push it over. Here we go. I can't add nitrogen to the core ta tank, I don't think, because it's not a service module tank that I'll check. I'll check that out. We were pretty close to what it was saying there. So I'm gonna try just going there, which is only two degrees past the KSC. And now, uh, RCS... Uh, SAS said, uh, uh, try and use the RCS to push me to retrograde. Okay, well we have a lot more Delta V left over this time. Last time we only had like 400. This time maybe we can use the throttle to slow down a little bit better. I guess I'm getting marginally better at this whole retro burning thing. Oh, it's going to overdo it. Okay, try to retrograde. Okay, what, what, which, which of many possible things blew up there? Oh, it's our hydrazine tank. Figures. Okay, we're at the mercy of the whatevers. Um, let me just go to one engine now. And let's have it burn... I don't know how many... I think they burn up to four times during descent on one of these. But let's see. Come on. Even with one engine you should be able to orient to retrograde proper. Okay, let's 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 add more thrust to slow down. Slow down, quickly slow down. We've lost the grid fins again. There's the KSC down there. The thing about the launch stages is they don't go down 
downrange very far. But they do have a lot of velocity to deal with. I don't get the feeling that we're slowing down quickly enough. We uh, The engines survived though. Last time the engines didn't survive. So we're, we're, is it going better? Sort of going better. Uh, how low, uh, how fast can I be going and still deploy those gear, uh, landing gear? Uh, I'm probably going to be throttling this a lot more than I should be. But this is uh, no time to skimp. I'm gonna assume that they're good below the speed of sound. Oh come on, you can't be that slow deploying. Uh, and okay, I need more throttle. Uh... Oh boy. Oh shoot, we're out of fuel. Um, well, I, I, I didn't get anywhere close to barge-like accuracy, but it looked a lot like the barge landing. Okay, uh, back to VAB. Oh, uh, oh, I can't revert. Okay, back to VAB that ways. I wouldn't say nailed the flyback. We were still a few kilometers away from doing that. This has got to take a lot more practice. Oh, game crashed. <laughs> 